a new release of Kisslicer 2.0 Premium. Actually, Premium Pro and Normal came out today. Um, quite a few new features in all three versions, but the Premium version has this really neat new thing. Um, it's a new type of infill called Dynamic Infill. It's only available to Premium users, and I'm going to show you how that works today. So I've selected Dynamic, dynamic Premium Infill here. Um, here's a model I've loaded. It's just a simple 100 millimeter um, rectangle. I think it's 50 millimeters tall with rounded corners. But to make dynamic work, what you actually are going to do is overlay a black and white gradient map over your model. And KISS will use the shades of gray in that map to adjust the density of the infill. Pretty slick, huh? And the way you do it is you right mouse click on the thumbnail up here and you click Add dynamic density map image. Before I do that, I'm going to show you what the um, the map image actually looks like. Um, let's see. I know I've got it here somewhere. Well, this is one. So this is a, um, a a density map that I created. It's got white in the middle and it goes out to black at the outer perimeter. As you'll see when we actually do this, a kiss will give us a nice little dialog tells us what's going on. KISS will map 50% density to white, and then black it will map to whatever density you selected in the density uh, infill slider down here. So currently you see I've got 2.5%. So this particular map would start uh, would, would infill with 50% density in the middle of the part, and then it, as it approaches the, uh, the outer perimeter of the part, would decrease that to 2.5%. So it would be less dense out here in the perimeter. Kind of a neat effect. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to load my density map. Click. Um, it's this radial white middle density. And here's that dialog I was telling you about that gives you some uh, reminder. It says 50% uh, density gets mapped to white. Black gets mapped to the infill density setting you have in the slider. And you do, do need to select the infill type to dynamic, which I've already done. So I click close. And now KISS has, um, and I can select models and paths, and what we will see is that KISS has applied this density map. You see this funky cone-shaped thing here, where white is going to be 50% uh, dense and black is going to be my 2.5%. So let's go ahead and slice this and see what it looks like. Click Slice. KISS does its thing. Slices the layers. Okay, now let's scroll down so we can take a look at the very first layer. And let's uh, tip this up on its, on its, um, so you're looking down at the, uh, the actual plane of the part. Yeah, my screen capture software is interfering a little bit with my ability to, um, to navigate and scroll. But here you can see, very low density out here, and as we get closer to the middle of the part, it's higher density. Now this is a kind of a funky um, uh, pattern. It's kind of uh, made up of these rectangles that are approximately two um, by one. So the width is one and the length is two. So what we can do is let's take a look at the second layer and plot on top of that. And now you can see, um, because that layer is going to be uh, perpendicular to the first one, it really starts to become obvious what's going on. Here we've got a very dense region in the middle where it was white. Um, in fact, that's 50% dense. And as we get to the outer perimeter here, it gets less and less dense until we're out here where it's 2.5%. And actually, as you build up the layers here, you can see that that is actually maintained uh, through the part. Let's see if we can get a good, nice shot of it straight down. There we go. Almost, almost. Actually, I think if we look at, well, Paz is only going to show us one layer at a time. Okay, there we go. So now you can see that um, even as I go all the way up, and now I'm looking through the full thickness of the part um, at all layers, uh, nice and dense in the middle, 50% uh, dense, and 2.5% density is maintained out here at the outer, at the outer edge. So you can use this feature for all kinds of cool things. Um, if you have a particular part that uh, you need you know, higher rigidity in the middle, um, you can do that. Or if you've got a long skinny part, you can create these, um, these gradient maps to be pretty complex. I mean, 
it doesn't just have to have one node of uh, white and black. It could be multiple nodes of white and black and white and black alternating, whatever you want. Um, and in fact, there's a neat feature. You notice when I clicked on this, it did say add dynamic density map images, plural. You can actually overlay multiple image maps. So if you had one image map, say, that had white at the left side of a, of a long rectangle and that was one map and another one that's got white at the right edge fading to black um, you could actually overlay the two of those and uh, KISS would blend them together to create a new density map that combines the effects of those so pretty cool feature um, take a look at it try it out make some prints and uh, see what you think